What's up everybody? Welcome back to netstrikers.com. My name is Aditya Dubey and in this video we are going to look at what is ASP.NET MVC directory structure. And before that we are going to look at how to create our first hello world application in ASP.NET MVC. So without further ado, let's get on to the work. So to create an MVC application using ASP.NET, you just need to download this Visual Studio. You, you can download from this link of course this link will be provided in the URL uh, description in the YouTube section so I hope I, I can assume that you know how to install the software and stuff like that so there is not an issue anymore you just need to download and just follow the step by step process and once the Visual Studio is installed you just need to open it so in my case it's Visual Studio 2013 so I'm going to click it and open it now so uh, by the way the new version is also available of visual studio 2015 so you can try out that as well so once the visual studio get opened now you just need to click on the file and uh, click on the new project so system getting slow okay click on the file click on the new and click on the project of course you can select it from this front page panel as well by clicking on the new project so okay once the new project window pop up you just need to click on the web of the from the left side panel and simply click on the asp.net web application and you can name your application it as hello mvc so i'm just going to click on ok and uh, here i need to select the template so since we are working with asp.net mvc so i'm going to select the mvc only and you don't need to select any one of them any one of the checkbox just click on ok So the, our project uh, will get created by the name of hello mvc inside the solution hello mvc so let me just wait for a while okay now once the project get created successfully you will get to see this uh, sort of folders or the directories in your solution explorer if the solution explorer is missing in uh, your case then you can reopen the solution explorer by clicking on the view and then click on the solution explorer there's always a short shortcut for solution explorer which is control alt plus l and uh, okay so let me get on to the one of one by one directory that uh, what is the task of each directory and why do we need these directories so starting from the simple one which is model controller and view as you can see model view controller is an mvc as i discussed in my previous video view contains all the html or the data which user going to see or the user interface that user usually see and perform operations on but the operations will going to be executed and performed via the controllers which contains the action so it consists of varieties of classes which are already built by the ASP.NET MVC for me. So it contains the action methods. Well, the action methods perform the action and uh, depending on the action, we will get the desired output. So in this case, it, it, it is returning the view, which means that it is going to redirect me to some page. And uh, you can always manipulate or modify this according to your need. For example, if you want to just return the content, then you can just return the content here. If you want to return the string, you can return the string. And there are various other ways by which we can return the desired output as we requested. Now, model as discussed earlier, model will contain the classes. And uh, the classes which will be uh, created by us. So this classes will contain the data and this class will be helpful for providing the data so we are going to create the model class controller and view from scratch so you don't need to worry about that so 
let me get into the another file which is a very important file called as global.asax now it is a very important and primarily most important file in the asp.net mvc the task of the global .asax in a simple way is to initiate the app start event or the application start event now what it does is whenever you request a file from a uh, whenever you request a, a url from a browser the application start event of the global ASCX perform the routing now what is routing routing is simplifying the url structure or accessing the uh, content of the url part by part so global.ascx passes the url according to the need of its application so for example if you have a url called as uh, let me just open the notepad to understand much better so if you have a url called as localhost slash home slash index so localhost is just a domain which could be like uh, google.com or facebook.com or netstrikers.com so this is the uh, domain name well according to the sp.net mvc or the mvc as well the first part of the url after the slash will be called as the controller now the controller name signifies in the controller section now in the controller section as you can see home controller you just need to append the controller words with the home so as to open the home folder and inside the home folder it consists of in action method called as index now what this action method does is it processes the request and generate and responds the desired output to the user so let us create one application from scratch and uh, let us see whether we are uh, right on track or not so let me just close all the window and uh, to create a controller i just need to right click on the controller directory hover on to the add button and uh, once you hovered into the add button you will eventually see lot of uh, files and you just need to click on the add controller so this will ask me that what type of file you want to control or what type of controller you want to build so i am just going to click on mvc5 controller empty now as soon as you click on the ok it will ask you what is the controller name that you want to so i am going to name it as aditya controller so you can of course change it to your name or you want desired name you can choose any one of them so once the aditya controller get created you will eventually see that this action method called as index automatically created now a controller class could have more than one action methods now you will you can create your own action method if you want so all you, if you want to create your own action method just try the public action result and name it as uh, uh, anything now this action result will return some sort of content that we are desired to in this above example you will see that it will return the view which redirect to some sort of page but for the learning perspective i'm just going to return some content for your understanding so to return the content just type return content and pass the string uh, to the content parameter so i'm going to type hello aditya welcome to mvc1 so that's it so whenever i run the application if i want to access this content i just need to get into my url and append what aditya forward slash anything well action name is anything so when i type the anything in the url after the controller name so it will going to return me the content that hello aditya welcome to mvc so without wasting any time let's just open this uh, run this application to run just click on the play button from your desired browser you can change the browser according to your need so let me just wait for a while to get application loaded now for the first time it will take little bit of time so you don't need to worry about that because uh, depending on your computer hardware configuration it will take 
sometime okay so now you see this page of twitter bootstrap or template this is the default template which is being generated by the asp.net mbc for us so since we created the controller uh, fresh controller called as aditya and inside the fresh controller we created action method called as anything so in order to access this method we just need to type forward slash aditya forward slash anything and as soon as you click on the enter you will see hello aditya welcome to mvc content got written to us so that's very simple and uh, you can create a uh, many methods if you want so for example if you want to recreate another method called as uh, something so you just need to stop the application from this stop debugging and once the application gets stopped you just need to create your method so i'm going to copy paste this since i'm very lazy and i'm going to type something so i'm going to change the content a little bit we'll type something let's rerun re -run our application and uh, wait for a while close this tab and as you can refresh this page reload this page since i am redirecting to aditya's controller action method called as anything so let me just switch it to something which i recently created so as you can see something got printed here which is the desired content that we are looking forward to now this is just a simple kinto stuff now what if if you want to return the complete page view or the complete html page that you are looking forward to so that's very easy as well so in order to return your own html page you just need to create another action method called as action result and you can name it as a uh, uh, show something and in, instead of returning just content we can just return the view now the view method will uh, return me the desired view that is binded with this action method so since the view isn't created yet so in order to create the view or the html page for this specific method called as show something we just need to right click on show something and click on add view and you can see the, in the window panel that view name show something is written up already we don't need to waste a lot of time inside it so just click on add and uh, it will create a view for us well as you can see this is something like a very common called as a html code so you can write your html over here so for example if you want to write html let me just increase the font size so that we can see or magnify it control window plus okay i hope you can see this is just an html html had right with your body and inside the body i'm going to create an h1 tag hello aditya this is your view so we just okay now let us run this application now Play, click on the play button so as you can see uh, there is a url called as localhost 14029 this is a port number which is randomly generated by the esp.net IS server so you don't need to worry about that this is the controller name that we discussed called as aditya show something is the action method that we recently created to return the view as you can see hello aditya this is your view created successfully so that's how you generate the view or you can create your own view and you can return the content that you want in your application so that's how simply how mvc application uh, or the hello world of the application works so in our uh, later videos we are going to uh, 
learn something more about MVC. We are going to learn how to use the model and how to fill the data inside the model and retrieve from the controller and pass it to the view. And we are also going to look at how to create our custom layout or something called a simple HTML page. So that's it for now. I, ho I hope you liked it. If you have any suggestions, please do let me ask in the YouTube comment section. And uh, one more time, your suggestions are always welcome. So thank you for now. Bye-bye.